Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here, and today Dead by Daylight provided us with some statistics to go over. Uh, looking at the front of it here, it might just be fluffy, and not sure how in-depth these stats are going to get, but we'll go check it out here. So they had this post up today that says, we love a GG, here's to over 500 million of them. Want some more stats, they're over here, and then they have these links to Reddit and the forums. We're going to go over to the forums, and so the first statistic here is in the sportsmanship department where players said GG 574 million times and 151 million thumbs ups given. All right, so let's go and click the forums link here. Okay, so here's the stats July 2024, last updated 10 a.m. this morning. Starting off with the pig. The pig, we have successful ambush attacks, 1.15 million attacks. Uh, reverse bear traps used 1.32 million bear traps used and 71,000 bear trap kills. So that's what a little bit, uh, a little bit more than a one in 20 chance that you'll die to a trap on your head. Barely an inconvenience. Let's see. It seems like it's mostly just a, a game slowdown mechanic. There aren't that many people dying to it. Roughly about 5%. Jigsaw boxes search. Almost 3 million. What is the... Uh, where are these statistics drawn from? What's the duration of the stats? Oh, here we go. Date range. April 12th to May 12th, 2024. So it's one month. Ah. Ever wonder what... A month in the life of a pig is like. It turns out she's quite busy ambushing and fitting traps to survivors well over a million times. Survivors have been kept busy as well, collectively searching an average of 6.85 jigsaw boxes per match for the keys to their reverse bear traps. That's the whole team, right? Yeah, collectively. Okay, all the survivors. These traps ultimately don't kill many survivors directly. Yeah. Killing an average of 0.17 survivors per match, though the time spent searching for their key may be costly. So I don't know if you know this. Maybe this would be an interesting little uh, add-on to these statistics here. But a base game against the pig has a set amount of jigsaw box searches. This is going to be 12 searches to clear uh, four traps. So it's on average, it's three, right? So it is randomized how many times you're going to have to search. Obviously, four is going to be the max. But um, if you get your reverse bear trap off on the first try, that means that the other survivors in the game are going to have 11 searches. So if you get it on the first try as a one, then that means that the other team members are looking at three searches, four searches, and four searches because it has to add up to 12. So you could have like, uh, you know, three, 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 three across the board, or you could have two, two, then four, four would be left. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you're on comms with your team to let them know how many boxes you had to search, because then they can kind of figure out in their head doing the math how many they're going to have to search. Anyway, you might find some value in that. OK, so here we go. Chases. Average pallets thrown per survivor across all MMRs is one and a half. Average pallets thrown per survivor at high MMR is 1.6. High MMR survivors throw more pallets? Maybe because they have extended chases so they can reach the next pallet? Is that what it is? Oh. Average survivor chase time per match across all MMRs is a minute. Average survivor chase at high MMR is an extra six seconds. A minute and six seconds. Matches where each tier of Bloodlust is reached. Um, Bloodlust 1, 56% of the time. 2, 14% of the time. Bloodlust 3, only 3% of the time. So that's the longer the chase goes, the, the killer kicks into Bloodlust, which makes them a little bit faster each time. So they can uh, finish the chase more easily. That's the idea behind that Bloodlust mechanic, the longer a chase goes on. Same range of statistics. Let's talk chases. Survivors spend an average of one minute being chased throughout the match, throwing somewhere between one and two pallets in the process. Before you accept your best survivor award, keep in mind that these are averages. Some survivors may be chased more than others in a given match, and others may not be chased at all. On the killer side, we checked how often each tier of bloodlust is reached. 
Bloodlust 1 kicks in at least once in about half of all matches. However, the high tiers are far less common. The Blood Moon event. Total blood points earned by all players. Wait, this is a big number. How much is that? Million, million, billion, trillion? 13 trillion blood points. Wow, that's a lot of blood points. Average blood points earned per player, 4.7 million. Total number of blood zones created, 52 million. Interesting. The Blood Moon in-game event from April 18th. Sorry, March 18th to March 31st. If the entity had an accountant, they'd be sweating buckets. King, make sure you report all your blood point earnings to the blood point tax union, whatever, uh, the, the blood point revenue service. With more than 88 million matches played, over 13 trillion blood points were awarded throughout the Blood Moon event. That works out to an average of 4.7 million blood points per player. That's a lot of blood points. Sportsmanship. Okay, so this is what they led with on the uh, on the post for the tweet. 574 million GGs, 151 million thumbs ups. This one goes out to all the good sports who managed to set aside their differences after being hunted or battered by pallets and said GG over 574 million times. To those who prefer to show their appreciation quietly, they have given props to their other players more than 151 million times. GG. Good sportsmanship, no matter the outcome of the game. All right, that's what we have for you today. That's it, right? That's the end, yeah. Okay. All right, so what do you think of these statistics? A little, a little fluffy. Do you, how often do you die to the reverse bear trap? I Do you know I have one person that I play with that I've played with for years who still has never died to a reverse bear trap? And every time we come up against a pig in a match together, I want to, like, make them, make them, um, die to the, the reverse bear trap. You know, <laughs> I want to be the one who is in the game with them when they die. I want to be there, you know? Is that weird? Is that weird? I don't know. I'm like, maybe this is going to be the time. Sometimes they want to keep their streak going, like their Cal Ripken and the Baltimore Orioles or something, that they'll just run up to the pig to get them to kill them. If he's, <laughs> if he's running out of time with the bear trap, he's like, I got to keep my streak going. Hook me to death. And I'm just like, I get so mad at those pigs that do it. I'm like, no, no, just crouch and let his head blow up. One day, Noah, one day I'm going to get you. You're going to die to this pig's reverse bear trap if it's the last thing I do. All right, that's what I have for you for these statistics. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel a ton. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a generous life for us. It's a generous life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a generous life.